there are some adverse events of special interest uh, because they're not seen with chemotherapy or with the currently available therapies that we use. And uh, they are um, a cytokine release syndrome um, and a neurotoxic uh, a syndrome. So the cytokine release syndrome is akin to what you would expect in a patient if they had an overwhelming infection or severe sepsis. Low high fever, low blood pressure, sometimes uh, capillary leak syndrome, meaning you know, uh, uh, egress of fluid into lungs and tissues, and, and, uh, which leads to respiratory failure and kidney failure and organ failure and death if untreated. Um, so uh, one has to know how to monitor the patients for this syndrome. Um, by and large, severe um, cytokine relief, release syndrome that's life-threatening um, is fortunately less frequent than all grades. And uh, it varies from T cell product to T cell product, but the, the, um, um, we've learned that it can be treated with the anti IL 6 blocking antibody tocilizumab uh, successfully in almost all cases. And so most of the recent trials have not shown any deaths from cytokine release syndrome now that we recognize the syndrome as a consequence of T cell therapy and we've learned how to manage it. The neurotoxic events, we don't know really how to predict, we don't know how to. Um, uh, manage them uh, because we don't understand them. Although the good thing is they're generally reversible within a week without any treatment, although frequently patients are given some steroids uh, to try to blunt T cell activity, uh, presuming that that's what's mediating the syndrome. And it can vary from just a mild confusion, word finding difficulty, to frank coma. Um, it's a, there's a spectrum of severity. Fortunately, most of the events are not of severe uh, um, severity. And again, um, um, very rare that someone um, has a mortality related to central nervous system effect uh, side effects. So they're, they're unique toxicities that physicians and providers uh, will have to be educated about uh, when they begin to use this kind of therapy or manage patients that have had this kind of therapy.